Hey, it's a party. Christ is born. It is for him that we were torn. Anyway. Christ is alive. Well, he's not. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's Christmas, everybody. Christmas Eve, I guess. Uh, and uh, I'm talking to people. I really want to. Oats over here is getting absolutely sloshed. Um, and they really want us to marry. I have just have a bad feeling that that is not going to come to fruition. Anyway, let's go talk to Veronica, and then we'll go talk to Alexander. I'm gonna serve. I'm sure that he's gonna say like, uh, he's gonna say like, let's like dance, uh, like party. Merry Christmas, Magdalene. Enjoying the celebration. Who doesn't love an excuse? Uh, oh yes, I can't remember the last time we were, had a celebration this big. It's a nice change of pace. It's a wonderful to see everyone together in such high spirits. Yeah, I'll say that one. Isn't it? Especially after having to work in this damned cold. I swear, it seeps into your bones. I can't remember a colder winter. The frost keeps edging around our windows at night. At least the hinges will last through the winter. <laughs> That's right. <gasps> ah, those damned hinges again. Anyway, like Yorg said earlier, it's nice to have a night of good company and cheer. Yes, you gave a lovely speech, York. Thank you for mentioning my father in your speech, York. I'd be glad to know he was missed. You seem hesitant tonight, York. Maybe you should work on speaking in front of people. You seem hesitant tonight, York. Paul told me he put you up to making a speech in the first place. Why'd you do it? You gave a lovely speech, York. Oh, uh, thanks. To be honest, I didn't know what to say until I said it. Everyone was so deep under their drinks, I was worried no one would want to hear what I had to say. Wow, Smokey's gigantic fucking beard is so fun. While I solve that problem, maybe I should be on the town council. That way someone can get people's attention and make decisions. Ha! A woman on a town council. <laughs> Old bastard. Who said that? Oh. Uh, wait, was that me? You were very helpful, Veronica, especially because I wasn't expecting to make a speech tonight. That's right, Paul made you do it. What? He did? Oh, that bastard! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Werner kept going on about how someone should say something. Paul said that I was the most charismatic of anyone on the council. <laughs> he said that? Well, he said that I would make the least amount of people angry over it. Baltus said it was my charisma. Can I link a PDF to translate a book, Periodic System? <laughs> sure, you sure can. <laughs> I thought it was fitting for the season, York. Paul did too. Told me so himself. Um... Oh, uh, thanks. That's good. I'm glad people liked it. To be honest, I never thought I'd be able... I'd be someone people in Tassing listen to. But you've always been a part of the town council. We didn't always have a council, though. It wasn't until the night of the revolt, really, that I felt like I could do things on my own, be my own man. I love my father, but what he did... I thought it had doomed the town. The whole affair was the abbot's fault. Peter did the right thing. Well, that's a little far. We're lucky he didn't. A lot of terrible things happened all at once. No one could shoulder all the blame themselves. No, but my dad chose violence. He chose to destroy the abbey. I always went along with him because he was my dad. He had to be right. That night was the first time I thought any different. I got a PC now. Whoa, look at you. Holy shit. Playing fucking Garfield card on a monitor? Um, well, I mean, not that you weren't before. Wow, look at you fucking go. I forgot the link, but all in chat, please read it. It's a really good book about World War II and the life of Primo Levi, a Jewish Italian chemist. Hey, fuck yeah. Um, I learned that night you can fight for something right and still choose the wrong way to do it. And I swore that I would never let that happen again. The revolt broke down everything I thought I knew about Tassing, about myself. But it made me a lot of things, made a lot of things better for Tassing, and that makes me hopeful. What do you mean? Well, our new lord is strict, but he made a deal with us. The council lets us govern ourselves. As much as I was grumbling earlier today, York is right. Life changed in Tassing, and even though the first few years were hard, we're better for it now. No abbot looking down on us, making stupid laws as he see fits. Our lord lives, our lord lives days away. Days away? As long as we pay our taxes, we're left alone. It's a better life for Artemis and Apollo that we, than we had. Nice. Choosing to live differently than your dad was brave. I think you and the rest of the council have done a great job. But that's the whole point, isn't it? Without the revolt, you wouldn't be able to give the twins a better life. So even though you disagreed with Peter's actions, they made a better life for you. Hmm. 
Interesting. It doesn't work though. Oh, well, that's usually essential for a computer. I'm sorry. What the, what's what's wrong with it? Choosing to live differently than your dad was brave. I think even the rest of the town council have done a great job. But that was the whole point, isn't it? Yeah. Um. I mean, so even though you disagree with Peter's actions, they made a better life for you. But that's the whole point, isn't it? Without the revolt, you would be able to give the twins a better life. Hmm. Dust, I think. It just came dusty, or did you? Did you? Is there just dust? Choosing to live differently than your dad was brave. I think you lost the town downs. You've done a great job. Thank you, Magdalene. I've done the best I can to do right by the town and dad. Anyway, I'm going for another pint. Anyone else? Another for me, Yorick. Magdalene? Uh, I'll get myself another later. No, thank you. All right, we'll see you later then, Magdalene. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. Nice, we got one last, I think it was only one last person to talk to, yeah? Alexander. Alexander. Yeah, we talked to everyone here. I like how Baltus and Werner are still sitting at the same table, even though they fucking hate each other's guts. So fucking funny. Alexander. Oh, uh, Mistress Magdalene, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Alexander. Merry Christmas, Kazmiers. Enjoying the night? Very much so. The cookies especially. I haven't had such a wonderful gingerbread in ages. We were just setting up to perform. Did you have a particular song in mind you want us to play? Between the two of us, we know all the Christmas songs between here and Spain. Hmm, what about Be Welcome to Us, Lord Christ? Um, I was like good Christian men rejoice. How about From Heaven Above to Earth I Come? I'm going to look up which one of these I want. Let's, it's my brother's old one. Uh, yeah, that's fair enough. Um, hey, I listened to all of them. I like From Heaven Above to Earth I Come. The one written by Martin Luther. I don't oppose, but are you sure we ought to? Hmm. Oh, I was wondering about that. Oh, uh, I don't know. Oh, Father Thomas is going to be so fucking upset. Uh, uh, come? No, I'm not going to come. Till, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, mm, oh, okay, I didn't think about that. <laughs> let me let me rethink this. Let me rethink this. Maybe I'll pick something else. Um, be welcome to us, Lord Christ. Ah, classic. We know that one well. Once Kaz and I played with prepared, we'll be sure to play that one. Merry Christmas, everyone! Since it's Christmas, Kazmiers and I want to share a special song with all of you in the spirit of giving. I um I wonder um I wonder if the Lutheran one would have been kind of funny. Please enjoy. <laughs> Und leuchtet als die Sonne, Matris in Cremio. Alpha es et o, Alpha es et o. Copyright strikes. <laughs> I get copyright strikes. <laughs> it's just copyright strike. It's just the Lord. <laughs> it's just God. And I'm like, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I don't hear anyone singing along down there. Nice. That was a good one. Cheers! Bravo! Well done! Another! Another! Wonderful! Simply wonderful! Thank you! Thank you truly! Please return to your drinks. We'll be playing all night. Happy Christmas! I don't know why Yada. I forget. Big Yorg. Okay, I can talk to I can talk to the Yorganator one more time. I guess that's it. Can I talk to anyone else? Super quick. God damn it! Why can't you just go for oats, you fucking bitch? All right, maybe it's because of choices I made. Sorry, I was just straight up called her a bitch. <laughs> um, hey, Magdalene, sorry to bother you during the feast. Oh, hello, York. Did you need something? 
Well, all the chatter around the revolt earlier had me thinking. You're nearly done with the mural, aren't you? The last time you talked to the council, you said you were working on the final portion, painting the revolt. I don't mean to nag during the feast, though. That's Veronica's job. <laughs> I should have done it soon. Should have it done soon. I've been listening to people around town talk about the revolt so I can get a better idea of how to paint it. Everyone has a, diff has a different idea of how that night happened. But I think I finally set on how I want to depict it. Okay, here we go. Big York with a big heart. Yeah? I want to honor what the peasants stood for. I'll show Otto giving a speech and the soldiers in the distance. I'll paint the peasants burning the abbey in the mill and the lance next defending the monks. Yeah, I think I'll show the aftermath of the revolt and paint the ruined abbey surrounded by everyone who died and their families. Okay, this one, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> peasants burning the abbey. I want to honor what the peasants stood for. I'll show Otto giving a speech and the soldiers in the distance. I think I'll show the aftermath of the revolt and paint the ruined abbey surrounded by everyone who died and their families. That one's a little grim. Everyone who died and their families. I don't want to live it. I don't want it to live in like... I want to honor what the peasants stood for. That's a good perspective. It shows what happened without being too detailed about, well, <laughs> what happened. I'm sure everyone will love it. Klaus will be proud of the design you picked. They, Ava will like it especially. Anyway, I'll get out of your way. You've got better things to do. I think Otsu's looking for you too. <laughs> I'm not, oh, not again. He can't get the word no through his thick fucking head, can he? <laughs> I'm certain he is. I think I'll actually go home for the night. I've had enough of Otsu's flirting and I should check in on my dad. Tell him hello from all of us, all right? I will. Good night, York. Good night, Magdalene. No, Oats. You're supposed to see Oats. Is he going to buy the email tonight? Drunk as fuck. Head home. No. <laughs> I don't think I will. To the mill. Yeah, splash, 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 splash. Hello. Spooky. A spooky evening. Man, there is something kind of... Uh, uh, playing this game kind of makes me sad thinking about the real world, honestly. I, there's a lot of shit in this game that's, that's obviously is a lot better now. Now, we're a lot better off, but it is... Uh, it, it makes me sad how... <laughs> how damaged the world has become. Shrine of St. Sashia. Let's see this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. What a big ass fucking tree. Uh, waterfall's frozen. The waterfall is always so beautiful. We're lucky, even in the winter, it never fully freezes over. Why is that lucky? Okay, mine's fully snowed over. Good to know. Wandering in the dark forest alone at night. The forest always looks so barren in winter. No one comes out here this time of year. Except for Smokin' Joe. Slocum Joe. I fucking knew it. God bless you, and Merry Christmas, Magdalena. Man, Sister Amelia, you're still around? Holy fuck, how, how old are you? I guess not crazy old. If she's like fucking like 20 when she's in there, she would have been... If she was 20 the first time we saw her, she would have been 27... And then what was another 47? She's like middle age. Well, middle age. She's probably fucking old in this time of day. Oh, Merry Christmas, Sister Emily. Hi, I want to offer promotion of your channel. Viewers, followers, views, chatbots. The price is lower than any competitor. The quality is guaranteed to be the best. Auto on, incredibly flexible, and convenient order management panel. Everything is in your hands. Turn it on, off, customize. Go to dogehype.com. Cool. Thank you, uh, Rue Determinad. Were we bothering you with the noise next door? No, not at all. Hearing people celebrating Christ's birth brings me great joy. Christmas tide should be a heartening time of year for us all. I enjoyed seeing everyone feeling better about the future, especially all after all tasking has endured. I always think there's something healing about Christmas, about coming together to celebrate Christmas. There's nothing like a warm mug of beer and music to warm up the dark winter days. I thought they'd never end. I always think there's something healing about coming together to celebrate i enjoyed seeing everyone feeling better about the future especially after all the tasking has endured the people here have suffered greatly but we must always find hope in the midst of despair 
It is fitting to celebrate Christ's birth on days with so little light and warmth. People need Christmas in the depth of winter to remind them that spring will return. And we will all have a chance to live again. Magdalene, who is that? Huh? Oh, well, wouldn't you know? It's Andreas's mouth. They're fucking ghosts! <gasps> you! Um. Someone who's been following me. Please excuse me, Sister Emily. I need to check on my father. Of course. God bless you. Thank you, sister. Check on dad. He'll be fine. The door is open. Is someone here? Dad? Oh, fuck. You better get help. Oh, no. Emily. Well, time to go. To, can I just go to sleep? Does it give me the option? No. <laughs> this is a horror video game. <laughs> Still as messy as ever. <laughs> Dad's getting murdered upstairs. Dum, 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 dum. Dad? He's under the bed. Oh, thank God. Magdalene, is that you? Rude team and that you should you leash hound bot of a scammer. <laughs> Go fuck off. <laughs> what's the what's the matter? Someone was standing near the house. The door was open. I was afraid something might have happened to you. I'm sorry, I didn't hear anything. I've been asleep most of the day, most of the evening too. I'm worried about you, Magdalene. You worried about me? You're working too hard. I know taking care of me takes up so much of your time. And I know how hard you've been working on the mural. I've wanted to, to finish it before, before Christmas. I'm still young, Dad. I don't get tired as quickly as you do. I wanted to finish it before Christmas. I know. Damn near an impossible task given the size of that rat house. Well, maybe if you did just one wall. <laughs> Hi, I want to offer promotion of your channel. Viewers, followers, wow, I love Skuma. Thank you so much. Hi, I want to offer your account. You can go. <laughs> I'm not going to make it, Magdalene. <laughs> Are you a doctor now? I've known Werner Stolls long enough to know when he's going through the motions. He's never been kind, but there's a special coldness to him when he's attending to a dead man. It's all right. This is just life. I'm glad I'm going before you, even if it's sooner than either of us would like. I've already seen too much death in my time. I just wanted to show you what I could do. I wanted you to be proud of me. I have been. Every day of your life. You've never proved needed to prove anything to me. Seek fluid intake. Sure. Oh, well, I'm just touching shit all over my fucking iPad over there. Let's do it. The scammer bot cure. Hi, I want to offer a promotion of hydro uh, dihydrogen oxide. You never needed to prove anything to me. I wish I could stay to see the mural when you finish it, but I don't need to. I know it'll be more beautiful than anything these old hands have ever made. <laughs> Mom was the artist. <laughs> Mom, uh... Mom was the artist. She was. I just followed in her shadow. But you have, you don't have to follow in mine. You can already see things that I could never, that I never could. See things and make them real. I don't know if that's true. It is. Whether I die tonight or tomorrow or the next day, I'm not going to be here much longer. One morning you're going to wake up and you'll have to do things for yourself. Love things for yourself and you'll have to share it with the world. Love is the only reason to do anything in this life. Oh, all this talking, too much. Could you bring me something to eat? Of course, Dad, you haven't eaten all day. And I miss the Christmas feast too. I can't believe no one brought me a cookie. I'll go get some soup. He's gonna die. I'm gonna come back upstairs. He's gonna be dead. That's it. That's it. That's fucking it. Sir, what if I do it for money? <laughs> Love is the only thing worth anything. But money is also worth a lot. No fucking way. Oh my god, it's Andreas. It's legit Andreas. I can see the hook's fucking nose. <gasps> oh my god. Holy shit. Klaus. I'm sorry, Klaus. About everything. You're here. I've been trying to... I think so. These 
days, I feel like my mind has been cracking apart. I thought I could stop all of this. I've been trying to keep Magdalene safe. I've been trying to figure it out this whole time. After the fire, it's all I could think about. That and them. They've never left me. They're all still there. All in the dance of death. The Baron, Piero, Guy, Ference, Peter, Otto, August, and now you. The dance of death. That's the, that's the, uh, that's the, um, the mural in the, that was the mural in the church um, that Andreas, I'm guessing, is painted over. Dad? Oh god, it's you! Who are you? What are you doing to my father? Magdalene, it's alright, it's alright. I'm sorry, I've forgotten my manners after all these years. And you've likely forgotten my face, or what it once was. Whoa! Magdalene, this is Andreas Mailer. Back from the dead. The earliest memory I have of you is running into a burning library. I'm sorry. I don't understand. No one could have survived that. Maybe I shouldn't have, but I did. I don't understand, Andreas. Where have you been all these years? Andreas being such a great guy and I ride this poor fucking dude. I fucking... Uh, holy shit. Yeah, I felt too quick. Hiding from the world. In the ruins, mostly. Sometimes in the woods when it was warm. Stealing bread from Gret. Stealing books from you. Oh, so I wasn't going crazy. It's the only thing that's kept my mind from forgetting what words are. Wait, how did you survive the fire? With some difficulty. I grabbed as many books as I could and threw them into the scriptorium. When the smoke got too thick, I started to black out. The next thing I remember was Caspar pulling me into the crypt. Your apprentice, the boy? You sent him back to Salzburg? He didn't leave. He waited in the woods and watched what was happening. I wonder, um... I wonder if you're mean to Caspar, like, throughout the whole game, and you tell him to fuck off at every, like, and he, and he does leave to Salzburg. Does Andreas die? Well, I met this guy <laughs> named Legget Joshua from a faraway nation, <laughs> Joshua Graham. He waited in the woods and watched what was happening. When he saw me in the window of the library, he ran through the crypt to save me. And he did. But he saw that I was trying to save the books, and he went back in. I couldn't stop him. I was barely conscious. He never came back out, Klaus. When I woke up, everyone was dead or gone. I couldn't face any of you. I couldn't go back to Sabine, that empty house. So I hid. He's covered in bandages, is he? You painted over the dance of death in the abbey. It turns out I had a reason to keep painting. I'm sorry if I scared you. No one's coming to the Abbey for years. I thought I was safe there. I was afraid to talk to you. Afraid to talk to anyone. Did you leave us those notes? The ones with the purple writing? Ah, no. Those were written by a different occult hand. One that does not want you to finish your mural. One that has killed and may kill again to stop you from telling Tassing's history. Tassing's history? Why? Because Tassing's real history is at odds with the story we've all been told. It's been covered bit by bit, layer by layer, until it could no longer be seen. Oh, But it's still here. It's always been here, hidden beneath our feet. And it's still protected, haunted by the specter of death that has hung over this place for generations. The Thread Puller. Thread Puller beneath our feet? What are you talking about? The person who attacked your father is the same person who manipulated someone into killing Otto Zimmerman. And Lorenz Rothvogel. Yes. And they travel through the Roman aqueduct that connects Tassing and Kiersau. It's a network of tunnels I've become quite familiar with. And I've seen the ghost that haunts them that can squeeze to the tiniest opening. I've seen it bend itself in half to reach places I could never follow. I've traveled along every inch of the aqueduct in the old city. But there's one place I've never found. The lair where the thread puller retreats to. The ancient Roman temple that it is determined to hide from view. The Mithraeum, you found it? She smiles, hey, you found the Mithraeum? Good for you. No, but I mapped out a darkness between the collapsed tunnels, and I believe I know how to get there. 
and come with me. I'll show you. Now? If the thread puller becomes aware of what we're doing, well, I don't know what they'll do. We need to act quickly. Will you be all right? Yes, I'll be fine. Protect my daughter, Andreas, with my life, Klaus, I promise. All right, let's find them at the ram. Damn, fucking Caspar. So his life would have been saved. So does he... Maybe maybe he survives both ways. But in one of them, Caspar just dies. Ironically, Andreas being mean to Caspar would save him. The Wrath House, what are we doing here? When the men dug the foundation, they found Roman ruins had been buried over time. Luckily, he never wasted stone, so he used the Roman wall as one of the cellars. There's always... There's a way inside. To the hidden place. Are you all right? Yes. All right, into the Rathskeller. The Rathskeller! Oh, little Andreas. Wait, what if only? What if it's only one person with really good stealth in combat? They just leveled up their dexterity way well. Hold on, oh, wait, can we go somewhere else? Wow, this is... I, it's, oh man, it's like I knew this was going to happen. Oh, he can still run. Look at him go. Oh, little Andreas. Oh, run. Oh man. Wow. Holy shit. Oh my God. It's like I knew it was going to be him, but I didn't know it was going to be him. All right. This, that wall is different. Does that mean this is the place? No, it's two-sided, new and old. This was above ground once. It carried water. Look. Cornelius iret balneo et complet sextum gradum in Mithreo. All right, I think I can make it out. <sighs> Cornelius goes to the bath today and completes the sixth step in the Mith Mithraeum. Yes. So good to see him back. It could have been the assassin, but we had luck. That's fucking right. Thank fucking God. Yes, you see. No, I most certainly do not see Andreas over oh, here. <sighs> Let me in! <laughs> Andreas, the cracked out gremlin of Tassing. <laughs> a warning would be nice. Oh, sorry. I'm not used to being around people. This is the aqueduct. Yes, and it will take us to the baths, then to the Mithraeum. All right. After you, please. Here we go, gamer. Let's do this. <laughs> Manu Propria, Chapter 8. All right. Act 2? Act 3? Act 3, Chapter 8. All right, cool. My poor dude to the bathhouse. All right. This part of the tunnel's collapsed. We're not getting to the Mithraeum this way. I think. Yes, Caspar and I found a collapsed section of the aqueduct near town. We didn't find out what was on the other side. I wouldn't let him explore it. I should have taken more care with him. Andreas, we can't do anything about that now. Yes, of course. Poor dude. Poor fucking aw. My heart is so soft. All right. Whoa. The decoration. These must have been the baths. It doesn't look like there's a way through. Ah, silt. All the floods keep kept carrying it down here. Hundreds of years of floods. What if we can't get through? What if it's buried forever? Uh, it's too early to get this discouraged. Let's keep looking. Nice, yeah. Come on, Andreas. Fucking nut up. S seeing Andreas like seeing M just for a big boss. Yeah, I know it kind of does. It feels like that, doesn't it? Is there no other way? Oh, oh okay, yeah, we can go down here. More stairs down? Would something be below the baths? A hippocost. They sue warm air and air to heat the rooms above. Roman colonies in the north often had them. Uh, let's hope those haven't filled with, with silt as well. Whoa, this is nightmarish. Do you know where we're going? These pillars just kind of go on in all directions. Andreas, could you look that way? I think I'm going to try exploring ahead. Of course. Oh, am I playing as, as a dog? Oh, let's go back in the saddle. Let's fucking go. How 
could you abandon your work, Andres? How could you abandon your work, Andres? I thought you were a true artist, a master of... Ah, oh, fuck, I, I read it. Oh, okay. The only thing more pitiful than watching you work in that scriptorium was your love of that dying art. An eye for an eye, Andreas. You um, you may have condemned me, but I'm doing so. You damned yourself as well. Master, why did you send me back into the flames? Oh shit! Ah, uh, no. No, this isn't right. I can't be here right now. How did I get here? Andreas. You're still here? Yes, for a little longer. I thought I had gone mad. Not yet. Not entirely. But you have been on this road for a long, long time. You must leave this place forever, Andreas. You must abandon it for good. But how? What can I do? Is Andreas in touch with hell? He certainly fucking is. I don't even know how I got here. This was once a place of refuge for you, Andreas. But has become a prison. A prison you constructed to protect yourself. From what? From pain. From risk. From life itself. But I can't stay here. I have to help Magdalene. How do I get out? Andreas, you are the architect. I will help you as best I can. But you are the only one who can answer that. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, um... I'm just gonna practice here. Uh Ah, oh, fuck. Hold on. Motherfucker. Oh, 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 that, these are the, oh, I was doing it the opposite way. Okay, cool. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh,
Thank you for everything you taught me. Oh, wait. What happened? This was the way out. Before I started talking to Caspar, I know this was the way out. Your mind is fighting itself, Andreas. The son, oh, the son didn't know the big boss was going to be voiced by his dad, so he cried. Oh, no. <laughs> it's so sweet, actually. Call my girl Pentiment because she's weird, hard to understand, and makes me cry. <laughs> <laughs> Call my girl Pentiment because she's just like the Lord. She doesn't fucking exist. <laughs> Hello, Kelbreaker. Welcome back. This is my fever dream. Actually, this is actually a fever dream. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be so excited. You are going to be so excited when you see who's back. Your mind is fighting itself, Andreas. It remembers the pain of life. It's trying to protect you from it. Beatrice? Yes? I thought you were gone. You brought me back. Oh, so... What do I do now? Keep going. Okay, cool. Let's figure this out. So that goes like this. That goes like that. This is just going the same. We have to go back the way we came, essentially. Is this? How am I? Am I going to get out like this? I'm just going back the same way, aren't I? Yeah, I'm just going. Uh, my strategy is not working. All right. Okay, well, I've fucking... Okay, well. Let me let me go back then. Let's just share this fucking works. <laughs> Fuck it. Andreas, zombie dreams. Yeah, that's fucking right. He's back, boy. He's fucking back. Andreas. Giga Chad. Come on, on. Come on, Andrew. Come on, big A. Oh. You too? It's been so many years. So many years without seeing your face. I thought I had forgotten it. I know there's nothing I could have done. I knew you were still here, though. Quietly waiting for me. I can't change the past, can't cover it up. It's always there under the surface, no matter how I try to bury it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. It's all right. What? It's all right, Daddy. It is? You don't have to hide here anymore. I'm scared, August. I know. But that's why you can't stay. There are people who need you. It's so hard to... It, whoa, whoa, so what if I... It's so hard to let you go. I know, Daddy. But you have to. I know. You're right. Thank you. I love you, Daddy. I love you, too. Good night, August. Good night. We got it. They shifted again. The walls. I, it's still trying to protect you. No. It's not? No, I mean, no, I don't have to do this. This is my mind, my maze, and I'm leaving. Good. But this next part might be confusing. Oh, oh my God! It's Mother Teresa. Hey, look at her go. I mean, it's not her. I can't remember what. I, I don't understand. I don't understand any of this. Did I make this? You borrowed it. From where? From what? From the from the chapel. There are layers to everything, even our memories. Over time, the foundations become buried. We can no longer recall how we got here. No longer recall what we what came before. This is the Jesus heart image. It's that. It, there's one in the church where she's holding, I forget her fucking name, Mary? Mary's holding the fucking labyrinth. And what came before? Our Lady, watching over the labyrinth, as I watch over you. And even this has roots that reach deep into the past. There was not always a lady to watch over the labyrinth, but there was a labyrinth. I remember that painting. Oh. Whoa, whoa, what? I don't understand. Sister Emily? Is this real? Am I still... Oh. <laughs> Is Sister Emily the fucking ghost? Is that why everyone's saying that she's been here for their, the, as long as they can fucking remember? Holy shit, that'd be fucking sick. Fuck you, cliffhanger.